Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is day four of our April 2022 release and I have a quick card set to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's new floral frame with the outline die along with our chevron stencil. So I've got two um, paper tray ink white card bases 4.25 by 11 scored at five and a half inches using my Teflon bone folder of my Martha Stewart scoreboard. There we go, so I'm just doing this quickly. Um, I believe this is the freebie with purchase. There's some rules about that that you'll have to look into, um, but it's an awesome one. So I think you're gonna wanna buy enough that you can get this one because it's, it's super easy to make a quick card for mom. So there we go. So I'm just flattening that, uh, reinforcing the fold. And I'm pulling out my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station and I'm going to pop my card base down and I'm going to stencil right on top of it and I'm using our chevron stencil which is lots of fun so I'm just going to line that line that up use my magnets now you can use any stencil for this I'm just pulling out my chevron stencil from Jada Blossom and I'm pulling out our distress oxide ink in peacock feathers and I'm just going to run that over with my tailored expressions blending brush so I don't want this perfect I'm just Gonna sort of ink blend in the lower right hand corner of the card and sort of fade it on the way up, but it's not perfect, you know, and it's not meant to be. And it does dry back a bit, but that's what I'm going for. I'm making a home for my little image. So there we are. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm using Distress Oxide Ink in Shabby Shutters. Obviously I cleaned off my stencil in between. And, or you wouldn't really get a true color although it wouldn't be too it wouldn't be very object it wouldn't be objectionable anyway because you know blue and green would be fine but um you know there we go so I kind of wanted true colors so I was matching my distress oxide ink to my paper tray ink um colored cardstock that I chose now that is the colors are let me look here they are Hawaiian Shores and Limeade Ice so I went ahead and I stamped it again onto the winter wisteria and the pale peony so these are the same colors that i used for my graduation cards so i did some fussy cutting and i just cut out the flowers there's another um dye that you could use and it but it cuts out the um the greenery and the flowers and i wanted just the flowers so i did some fussy cutting and it was simple because it's you know nice thick lines no biggie there we go. And I just used my um, Memento Tuxedo Black marker to outline around the edge. Now I'm pulling in some Copic markers and I'm using um, BG57 here. And it's just a darker shade of that teal. And I'm just flicking it in from the base of all the leaves. That's it. I just wanna add some dimension without doing anything funny. So that is stamped with um, Ink on Three's Blackout Ink. And there we are. So I'm just sort of flicking it. This is not rocket science but what a fast mother's day card right i think it's awesome and like i said what an amazing freebie with purchase now obviously there are rules you got to look them up um they always state what you have to do to get it there we go so i'm just sort of flicking on that color and i'm just sort of making you know defining all the leaves that's what i'm going for so kind of teal leaves which is kind of fun and then the flowers will be purple and pink so, you know, easy, easy stuff. And I never, you know, I don't do it often, but every time I do it, I always think, oh, Copic coloring and colored cardstock, isn't that fun? It's fun stuff. And you get to add a little bit of dimension, um, but you're not really, you're just using one color, right? You're using the cardstock as, as the lighter color and the darker color um, is the marker. So that is YG63 now kind of a darker green that kind of goes with this um, limeade ice from pa paper tray ink there we go so I love this image it has the outline die which is fabulous so my die cutting today was done obviously with my Gemini machine like always but it just neat gives like a such a nice clean kind of punched out appearance you know what I mean like the edges are rounded it just gives it some presence I love that and um it's kind of my jam. I love using dies to cut out. And the nice thing is, is these are super easy to line up. Just line it up with the image and it cuts a perfect border. 
There we go. And obviously the Mother's Day sentiment was stamped on the inside, but you could easily use this frame for something else. You could stamp whatever you want on the inside, right? It doesn't have to be a Mother's Day card. It could be a happy birthday, you know, with deepest sympathy. Whatever you want to put in there, you can, and you can use an awesome outline die um, to cut it out. So there we go. So now I'm pulling out my RV32, and I'm just going to flick that in from the edges of all the petals. Um, with this little um, flower that I cut out on the Pale Peony cardstock. And like I said, all these cardstocks that I used are the same ones that I used on my graduation card set. So I figured I wouldn't remake the wheel, right? I already had them out, so I thought I'd go ahead and use them. There we go. I'm just going to, like I said, add, add a little bit of contrast with the darker pink, but like this isn't rocket science and it's not like excellent color blending or anything like that. So this is super easy to do. There we are. So I'm just going to add that to the little flowers. And, you know, I'll add a little bit of a line um, towards the inside of each petal. And then that's that. So it just makes it super quick and easy. And then for the purple, I'm using V28. And like always, I always list everything on my blog. So, you know, if you miss it, if you want to go figure out what I used, everything will be listed there. Um, I do that just to, you know, make it easy for you guys if you want to make the same thing. There we go. But like I said, you could use any stencil for this background. Um, you know. Basically, it's the easiest thing to do because you're just, you know, blending on some, you know, blending on a stencil in the background and you're making yourself a little patterned paper that's already attached to your card because you're stenciling right on the front of your card. So it makes a really quick and easy card, I think. And there we are. So just adding my color to this last little rose. And there we are. And now we're going to put the cards together. So, so fast. I'm going to pop up these images with 3M foam tape. So this bigger air, these bigger images will be, you know, 3M foam tape. I just find that easier because, um, you know, you can cover a lot of surface area that way, which I like. And then we will get these in place. So I don't know about you guys. Are you looking forward to spring? I'm from Canada. And may I say in Thunder Bay, Ontario, it is not spring here yet. It says it's spring. The calendar says it's spring. It is not spring. It is still winter. We had a storm the other day. Honestly, our, our streets like a skating rink, yikes, that's all I have to say. I had to penguin shuffle to the mailbox so I didn't kill myself, and that is a true fact. <laughs> so there we go, because my um, our mailboxes aren't, I live in a newer area, so our, we have um, mailboxes that are separate from our house, um, so it's just down the street, and it was it was a treacherous walk, let me tell you. So there we go. So I'm going to, I'm jealous of anyone that's a little bit farther south than me. They're enjoying some real spring, which I'm not. So now I'm taking out my Stampin' Up Dimensionals and I'm just going to add one on each little flower. And I'm going to pop them up in place. So I'm going to put one pink and one purple. And like I said, I, you know, I colored the edge of those, of that cardstock just so it makes it blend in better. Um, you won't have that that outline showing it just looks like it's black like you cut it out perfectly which of course I did not and now I'm grabbing uh, these are called little things from Lucy's cards they're in the soft snowball mix they're just white um, little pearls and I'm going to add little pearls to those little dots on the design like how easy is that right and I'm using oh I think I'm using glossy accents to stick these down and I'm putting them right on the little dots that are already there you don't even have to think about where to put them like they've already got little dots for you. Like how simple is that? So I'm going to add a few to each card. And then I'll sprinkle a couple on the background too, just for fun, right? And I'm using, like I said, my Studio Katia embellishment wand and glossy accents to get them in place. So fun stuff. So did you enjoy the release? That's what I want to know. I have, I just love this one. I think it's great. Make sure you're going to want to come back tomorrow because we're having our, tomorrow is the actual release day and we do have a hop. And when we do a hop, um, the Jada Blossom team obviously work hard to create, you know, some inspiration for you guys. And 
This release is definitely not different from the other ones. We have some inspiration ready for you. So you want to come and see, um, you know, comment on the blogs, you know, because you can, um, usually there's a giveaway of a stamp set and that's lots of fun. Um, and that's about it. So, you know, easy, easy stuff. And the nice thing is everything's available a la carte to buy as of um, tonight at midnight. And um, then that way you can, you know, if you want to buy, you know, just one or two things, go to town. Um, but if you want those um, gnome, the new gnome dies, the little girl gnome dies and the spring add-ons, you better buy those because I'm telling you, I, I just have a feeling those are going to fly off the shelf. Now they will obviously get them back in stock for you. Um, but if you want to get your hot little hands on them, you want to get them as quickly as possible because I kind of predict that they're going to fly out of the store. And now I'm just going to add a few to the background, um, just, you know, for some interest, right? And like I said, this makes like such fast, easy cards. So fun. And the other, the other sets um, that you, you know, for today that we're releasing were awesome too. And I'll probably be using those tomorrow um, along with the gnome dies because, you know, I can't help myself. Those darn gnome dies are so cute. The little girl gnomes are just the sweetest thing ever. So I think, like I say, I always say this, they'd be great for kids to put together. If you cut all the pieces out for them, they would have a blast putting them together, sort of like paper dolls, right? At least that's how I feel whenever I put stuff together, um, those dies together. I feel like I'm playing like when I was a kid. It's, it's lots of fun. So there we are. So I'm just adding the little pearls and then our cards will be complete. So we'll have a couple of fast Happy Mother's Day cards. Although if you didn't put the Happy Mother's Day in there, you could have easily put Happy Birthday in there or I'm sorry or thank you or whatever you want. And you could crank out some really quick thank you cards or sympathy cards or whatever you'd like to make. Basically, it'd be so fast, super fast and easy. So there we go. Like fun stuff, right? And last but not least... I'm pulling out our my Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle, and I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle to the flowers. It's not super obvious, but when it's in the right light, it sparkles like crazy, and I think it just makes it a little bit more special. Um, you know, when you've got such a simple card, adding, you know, a few little special details makes it pop, I think. So there we go. So look at that. Pretty, right? I'm trying to catch it in the right light. It's tricky. There we go, and I'll do the same with my other card. And then we'll have some sparkle on this one, and then we will be all set. Fun stuff. There we are, and then I'm just adding my sparkle here, and then we will be done. There we go. And I think I get it in the, get it so you can see it in the sparkly, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So thank you so much for stopping by. Like I said, be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, the Jada Blossom store, and remember to come back tomorrow for our hop. And um, like I always say, um, I really appreciate you watching, watching my videos. And hopefully we will see you soon in my next one. Bye, everyone.